Welcome to Accessibility Insights for Web. In this video, we will introduce assessments. An assessment is a comprehensive process that measures compliance with Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, or WCAG 2.0 level AA success criteria. The assessment process includes approximately 20 tests, and each test covers one or more accessibility requirements. There are three types of requirements automated, assisted, and manual. For automated requirements, the tool identifies test instances and evaluates them automatically. For assisted requirements, the tool actively helps you identify or evaluate instances. For manual requirements, the tool provides instructions for identifying and evaluating instances. Note that completing an assessment requires you to use standard keyboard commands and to visually identify interactive interface elements. Now, let's get ready to test. Open Chrome and navigate to the page you want to test, also known as the target page. You can open Accessibility Insights for Web by selecting the extension icon, using the extension's keyboard shortcut by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus K, or press Shift plus Alt plus T to move focus to the Chrome address bar, pressing left arrow to move focus to Accessibility Insights for Web, and then pressing the space key to open the extension. Accessibility Insights for Web will open to the Launchpad. In the Launchpad, select Assessment. A secondary browser window will open to an overview of the assessment process and results. At this point, the assessment is 100% incomplete, so no results are available. Now you're ready to complete the automated checks. In the Navigation pane, select Automated Checks. Within a few seconds, Accessibility Insights for Web checks the target page for compliance with dozens of accessibility requirements. These requirements appear in a list with failed requirements first. Failure instances for the selected requirement appear in the panel next to the list. You have several options for exploring the automated checks results. Select any failed requirements to see its failure instances. To learn more about a requirement, select See More Info Here. To see failure instances highlighted directly in your target page, turn on the Visual Helper toggle button to highlight all failure instances simultaneously, or select one or more checkboxes to highlight specific failure instances. Next, you'll move on to the manual and assisted tests. Each of the remaining tests cover a set of related requirements. We recommend completing these tests in the order they appear in the navigation pane. So I'll select the keyboard test. At the beginning of the page, there is some introductory information about the test. To learn more about the test topic, select the Guidance button next to the test title. Test level guidance appears in the new browser tab. It includes why it matters, do and don't design guidelines, links to relevant WCAG success criteria, sufficient techniques, and common failures. When you finish reading the Getting Started section, you can collapse it. This gives you more room on the screen for the rest of the content. By default, the first item in the requirements list is selected. Information related to the selected requirement appears in a panel next to the list. The presence of the Visual Helper toggle indicates that this requirement is assisted. For this particular requirement, the tool does not automatically generate test instances, but a Visual Helper helps track tab order. In order to learn more about a requirement, you can select Info and Examples. Requirement level guidance will appear in an overlay. It includes why it matters, how to fix, examples including code snippets where applicable, links to relevant WCAG success criteria, sufficient techniques, and common failures. Each requirement has detailed test instructions under how to test which you can collapse after having finished read the instructions. Your job is to evaluate the test instances and record your results. For requirements that don't generate test instances, select Pass or Fail for the requirement. You can reset a requirement to its original indeterminate state by selecting the Undo button. If the requirement fails, add a failure instance. If the requirement passes, no further input is needed. When the requirement is marked as pass, or at least one failure instance has been added, the requirement will show the aggregate result. 
some requirement automatically generate a list of test instances to evaluate. Let's take a look at one such requirement in the images test. When the tool generates a list of test instances, you'll select pass or fail for each instance. You can reset an instance to its original indeterminate state by selecting the undo button. After you mark all the failures, you can pass the remaining instances by selecting pass unmark instances. A few requirements will pass automatically if no relevant elements are present. For example, let's take a look at the first requirement in the headings test. This requirement applies only to elements that are coded as headings. Because there are no coded headings on this page, this requirement is automatically marked as pass. When all of the failure instances have been marked as pass or fail, the requirement will show the aggregated result. When all of the requirements in the test have been marked as pass or fail, the test will show the aggregated result. An assessment is complete when every requirement for every test is complete. At any time, you can view a summary of the assessment results by selecting Overview in the navigation pane. You can also share a detailed report. Select Export Result. Add an optional description and press Export. Only one assessment can be in progress at any time. Data collected in an assessment will persist until you explicitly start over. Start over a single test. Navigate to the test you want to start over. Select Start Over. In the menu that opens, choose the second option. In this case, I'm in the Headings test, so the option is Start Over Headings. To start over the entire assessment, navigate to the page you want to assess. Under Start Over, choose Start Over Assessment. For more information, go to accessibilityinsights.io. The link is also available in the video description. On behalf of Accessibility Insights, thank you for watching.